Audi A6 Review The roots of the Audi A6 can be traced to 1968 and the original Audi 100, then launched as a flagship rather than a mid-range model. That name endured through four distinct generations for 26 years. It was replaced in 1994 by the first A6, although this was simply to bring the car into line with Audi's newly adopted naming policy, the car itself was no more than a facelifted 100. The car you see here is the fourth generation of A6. It has a lot to prove, too. We've been driving cars bearing this badge for many years and, low volume esoteric spin offs aside, haven't previously driven one we even really liked, let alone one that got anywhere near rival offerings from Mercedes Benz and BMW. Audi says this one is different, and points to its impressive on paper statistics steel and aluminium hybrid construction and imposing new looks to support its case. But some things never change, unlike its best rivals, the base A6 remains chiefly front-wheel drive, a configuration that has yet to provide a car from any manufacturer with the blend of ride and handling that the best rear drivers appear able to offer year in, year out. 2016 saw the A6 get a much-needed facelift which saw an increase in equipment and technology fitted to the large saloon, while the front got redesigned there and takes in the rear a tweaked bumper and diffuser. Is this really the A6 to break the habit of its lifetime? Or is it just another in a long line of mid-size autos that talks a good game but ultimately fails to deliver on the road? Whether you opt for the saloon, our auto or Avon estate, the most important A6 is the entry-level 2.0 TDI SE Executive Ultra which will most likely account for more sales than all other variants combined. Three other diesels are available, two 3.0-liter V6S, one with 215 bhp and front-wheel drive, the other with 268 bhp and quattro four-wheel drive. The third diesel offering is a potent 3.0-liter Bindi which musters 315 bhp and drive all four wheels. There's only one petrol engine available, a turbocharged 4.0-liter V8, which is available in three guises powering the 444 bhp S6, the 552 bhp RS6 and the outrageous 596 bhp RS6 performance. The fourth generation Audi A6 is set to be replaced with 2018 earmarked as the earliest we will see the overtly sportier saloon and estate. Not much is known about the new A6 at this point, other than first glimpses of Audi's new design language will become apparent by autumn 2017, and the A6 will contrast stylistically from the conservative BMW 5 Series and the Russian doll concept of the Mercedes-Benz range. Any car like the Audi A6 that bucks the trend towards increasingly and needlessly overweight design and actually proves substantially lighter than the one it replaces will always start on the right foot with us. It bears repeating, a light car will be easier to stop, quicker to accelerate, faster through the corners, more frugal and less environmentally destructive than a heavier one. All other things being equal, it will also be more fun to drive. Although we tend not to dwell too long on looks during the formal evaluation process, the shape is not only more purposeful than before but, with those trademark daytime running lights, also more distinctively Audi than ever. The 2016 facelift did very little to alter this look, with larger intakes and tweaks to the rear diffuser the largest exterior changes. Under the sleek, modern bonnet remains the oddity of a north-south engine which, for the bulk of sales, is powering a front-drive car, a unique feature in the class. Slim C-pillars and effective rear quarter lights provide impressive over-the-shoulder visibility. In spite of the wide rear screen, the boot aperture is relatively small, but the boot's 535-liter capacity is just 10 liters less than the Mercedes E-classes and 10 liters more than that of the BMW 5 Series. The Audi A6 2.0 TDI is the most popular choice among saloon and Avant buyers. It does not offer the best blend of performance and economy in the class, but when that class includes the BMW 520d, that is no disgrace. And it runs the 5 Series extremely close and has the measure of all other selected rivals, Mercedes included. It shows how far Audis have come from the day when almost all their draw came from their showroom appeal. 
the four-piston motor may be an entire liter shy of anything else you'll find under the bonnet of an A6, but in no way does it feel like a poor relation. Far more refined than an equivalent Mercedes unit, again it bows only to BMW for the civility of its operation. It sounds a little rattly first thing on a cold day, but that's the only time you might wish there was something other than diesel in the tank. Strong acceleration is available from 1,600 revolutions per minute, and the car stays in the thick of the torque curve until nearly 4,000 revolutions per minute. In fact, the opportunity for a near-perfect flow of power is there to be taken and denied only by its gear ratios. Even as it is, the A6 will motor promptly to 60 miles per hour in 8.9 seconds and, if you keep your foot buried, not stop until it's showing the far side of 140 miles per hour. The 3.0 TDI's V6 engine starts with a gentle shudder, once you're cruising you'll barely hear it. That's partly because Audi's twin clutch gearbox is quick to change up, keeping revs low whenever possible, but mainly because Audi's done a stunning job of insulating this car's powertrain. Wind insulation is very well suppressed too thanks to a low drag coefficient of just 0.2626.